For those of you who are just starting with the curly girl method, or as we call it, co-washing, basically what you're learning is that you don't need shampoo, and that shampoo contains an ingredient called sulfate, which dries out your hair and is not good for your hair, especially for curls, okay? So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my shower and show you how to wet your hair, how to divide it into sections so that you can get the conditioner at your scalp through all that thick curl that you have and be able to really give your scalp a great washing and still be able to cleanse. Did you see how easily my fingers slid right through my curls? That's because I have been doing the Curly Girl method and I already had that nice conditioner left over in my hair. And it doesn't have any tangles. So you girls are going to love this. You don't have to worry about detangling your hair anymore. All right, so now that it's good and wet, I'm going to make sure the product is rinsed out so that I can get my hair clean. I'm focusing on my scalp. Okay, I'm going to apply just as much as I need to get my scalp coated. This is really thick and I can't get it to come out in a pump, which would be more convenient. I might even consider um, watering this down a little bit, especially for this step so that it can get into my roots a little bit easier. So for now, I'm not going to start with very much, and I'm just going to kind of coat at the front and up behind my ears and around the back of my neck. And I have just a little bit excess on my hands, which I'm going to actually divide my hair into sections and just put a little bit there in at the root. You may not need to use quite as much conditioner as you think. I'm going to start with just that much for now, and I'm going to give myself a good head massage. I'm not using any water to rinse yet. I'm just massaging my scalp. it but please remember that you need to rinse this completely out at this stage rinse off any debris any um, dry skin or oils or dirt or anything that's in your hair rinse that out really well like it used to before I started this. This is just one small handful or medium handful you might call it and I think that's enough. I'm going to put this on my hair nice and thick. I think I can turn the water off now well but then I'll get really cold. <laughs> Alright so divide your hair into sections. Make sure that you're getting it all in there. And then just start fingering it through. Put your fingers um, flat against your, your forehead here. 
and then actually go in underneath the strands of hair while you're touching your scalp. And then gently pull out in a straight line. Don't flare it out like this, you see? You don't need to flare it out. You want to keep it all combined at this point and keep it smoothing down. Okay, so now I am going to begin scrunching. The first thing that we do is just flip our head over. Shake to release the hair from your scalp. And just make sure it's all in a motion that's moving forward. Okay, now this next step is very important. <laughs> what you're gonna do is help your hair to form clumps, okay? So we want the hair to get a little bit thicker and clump together. Very simple. I'm just going to run my fingers through my hair, um, smoothing it down, and it will clump together. Watch. Okay. Here we go. Pinch between my fingers and pull down. Do it all over and underneath. And as you can see, my hair has clumped together, okay? And these are going to provide you with thicker curls, and now we crunch. Collect the curls in your hand like a pile and squeeze. It will sound squishy, and you might get some extra product coming off your hand, but look at how much that shrunk the curls up already, okay? Just do that all around. All the way up to your root as close as you can. You might get some of it to drip off your hands, but since I'm still standing here in the shower, it's not making a mess, so that's fine. And then in order to get the back of my hair, I do need to turn down a little bit more so that I can do this little baby short hairs here. And a little extra scrunching one more time. Never going to hurt to scrunch too much. And then flip back up. Okay, so as you can see, my hair really got a lot of volume by doing that. And I don't want to disturb that too much. I don't want to pull it back down. I just flip my hair and shake back a little bit because I don't particularly like my hair falling in my face. Pull forward a little bit there to help get some air in there so that it can dry nicely. And that will give you some more volume, keep the curls out of your face. Maybe one more scrunch. And then you can choose to let this air dry. You can choose if you wanna do some finger twirling. When it's about half dry, I will apply my favorite gel and then I will finish diffusing or air drying until it's about 90% dry and then just don't touch it at all at that point and you will have the most beautiful curls and it will be soft and healthy and you will really enjoy all those compliments <laughs> and all the attention. <laughs> so all right, good luck everybody.